giving yourself insulin. Your healthcare provider will determine the type of insulin and the dose that will work best to manage your diabetes. Injecting insulin can be a little scary at first, but people learn how and get used to it quickly. Insulin lets you manage your diabetes and live a healthy life. The vial of insulin in use can be kept at room temperature, up to 30 degrees centigrade, and possibly higher for up to a month. Keep unopened vials in the fridge, but never frozen. If you don't have a fridge, keep it in a container with cool water and out of the sun. Insulin may come in a vial that you draw up in a syringe, or it can also come in a device that looks like a pen. The pen is easier to use, but more expensive. Here's how to draw up your dose in a syringe and give yourself an injection. First, use the shortest, thinnest needles available. For example, 4 to 6 milliliters long and 31 gauge. A short, thin needle is the key to painless injections. Wash your hands. Then, gather your vial of insulin, a fresh syringe, and your needle container. Check that the insulin is not expired. If you are using the cloudy type of insulin, roll the vial gently between your palms 10 times to mix it well. Don't shake it. Check that there are no clumps settling at the bottom. Clear insulin does not need to be mixed. Next, draw up your dose. First, pull air into the syringe equal to your insulin dose. Then, inject the air into the vial. With the needle still in the vial, Turn the bottle and syringe upside down and pull the plunger to fill the syringe to your dose. If you have air bubbles, push the plunger until the air escapes. Then pull again to fill the syringe to your dose. Next, learn where to inject. Insulin goes in the fat layer at the back of your upper arms, your belly, but not at the navel, your outer thighs, and your buttocks. Every day, change the place where you inject. Here's one way to do that. Choose an area and divide it into four sections. Use one section for a week, injecting one finger width away from your last spot. Don't use the same place more often than once a month. Injecting into the same location can cause lumps and thickened skin and keep insulin from absorbing as it should. Now, give yourself the injection. Your skin should be clean, but it's not necessary to wipe it with alcohol. Gently pinch up the fat tissue. Then, with one quick motion, insert the short needle straight down through your skin. Let go of the skin pinch. Then, push the plunger until the insulin is fully injected. Keep the needle in the skin to a count of five. Then remove the needle and put it safely into your needle container. Remember, insulin goes in your fat tissue. Rotate the injection site every day. An insulin injection 
can be almost painless.